Uh, welcome, dear viewers. Today we delve into an important health topic that significantly affects elderly women, osteoporosis. Picture this, your bones are like a honeycomb. With age, some spaces within this honeycomb become larger, causing your bones to lose strength and density. This is the central idea behind osteoporosis, a condition that's all about weakening bones. Let's break it down a bit. Osteo means bone and porosis signifies porous. So osteoporosis literally translates to porous bones. When someone has osteoporosis, their bones have lost so much mass that they become porous, brittle, and prone to fractures. Now imagine a sponge soaked in water. When it's full, it's heavy, strong, and resilient. But what happens when you wring out the water? It becomes light, fragile, and easy to tear. This is exactly what happens to bones affected by osteoporosis. A, they lose their density and strength, becoming more prone to fractures. This weakening of bones is not an overnight process. It happens gradually over time, often without any noticeable symptoms. That's why osteoporosis is often referred to as a silent disease. It's not until a minor fall or sudden impact causes a fracture that many people realize they have osteoporosis. And here's the thing. Osteoporosis is not just about fractures, it's about the impact these fractures have on everyday life. A hip fracture, for instance, may lead to long-term mobility issues. A spine fracture can cause severe back pain and a stooped posture. These complications can greatly affect a person's quality of life, making everyday tasks difficult and sometimes impossible. Osteoporosis is a common health issue, especially among elderly women, but it's not inevitable. Understanding the disease is the first step towards prevention and management. Elderly women are particularly vulnerable to osteoporosis, but why is this the case? Let's explore. Um, elderly women are at a higher risk of osteoporosis, but what makes them more susceptible? To understand this, we first need to look into our body's bone health. Bones are not static, they are living tissues, constantly breaking down and rebuilding. When we're young, our bodies build more bone than they break down, leading to an increase in bone mass. However, as we age, this balance shifts. In women, the shift is even more profound due to the hormonal changes that occur during menopause. Menopause marks the end of a woman's reproductive years and with it comes a significant drop in the production of estrogen, a hormone that plays a crucial role in maintaining bone density. With less estrogen, the process of bone renewal slows, leading to a gradual loss of bone mass. Now, let's put this into perspective with a comparison. Imagine a brick wall representing bone density in men, the wall remains relatively stable throughout life, with bricks being removed and replaced at a steady rate. But for women, and um, especially after menopause, the bricks start to disappear faster than they can be replaced, leading to a wall, or in this case, bones that are less dense and more fragile. This is not to say that men are immune to osteoporosis, but it's less common due to their larger skeleton and lack of a menopause-like hormonal shift. It's also worth noting that women tend to live longer than men, providing more time for bone loss to occur. So uh, in essence, it's the combination of hormonal changes, a naturally smaller skeleton, and longer life expectancy that puts elderly women at a higher risk of osteoporosis. And it's important to bear in mind that um, osteoporosis is often a silent disease showing no symptoms until a fracture occurs. That's why it's crucial for elderly women and indeed everyone to be proactive in maintaining bone health. The consequences of osteoporosis can be severe and life altering. We discuss this next. The effects of osteoporosis 
extend beyond mere discomfort. They can significantly alter a person's life. Let's delve into the real life consequences of this condition. Imagine waking up one morning, stepping out of bed and feeling a sharp, sudden pain that sends you tumbling to the floor. That's what happened to Margaret, a sprightly woman in her 70s. She was always active, but osteoporosis sneaked up on her. One fractured hip later, her life changed dramatically. She found herself facing a long recovery period, grappling not only with physical pain, but also an emotional toll. Her independence was compromised and she had to rely on others for daily tasks she once took for granted. Margaret's story is not an isolated incident. Osteoporosis, often called the silent disease, can lead to serious fractures even from minor falls or stresses. The most commonly affected bones are the hip, spine, and wrist. And the impact of a fracture is not just immediate pain, it's the beginning of a chain of events that can significantly affect one's quality of life. Long-term consequences of untreated osteoporosis can be severe. Chronic pain is a common aftermath of fractures, particularly those involving the spine. This persistent discomfort can limit physical activity, leading to a cycle of declining mobility and fitness. Reduced mobility can further lead to feelings of isolation and depression. It's a downward spiral that no one wants to be caught in. Moreover, fractures due to osteoporosis can lead to permanent changes in posture. In severe cases, it may cause a hunched back appearance known as kyphosis. This can affect balance and increase the risk of additional fractures. Margaret's story is a stark reminder of the potential consequences of osteoporosis. It's a condition that silently chips away at the independence and quality of life of those affected. But Margaret's journey doesn't end here. Her experience propelled her to take control of her health. Despite these grim realities, there is hope. Prevention and management are possible. Let's discuss how. Prevention is better than cure, and osteoporosis is no exception. As we delve into the prevention and management of osteoporosis, remember that these steps are not just for those already diagnosed, but are crucial for everyone, particularly elderly women. Keeping an active lifestyle is a cornerstone of osteoporosis prevention. Incorporate bone strengthening exercises into your daily routine. Weight bearing exercises like walking, jogging, climbing stairs or dancing can do wonders for your bones. Resistance training like lifting weights can also help increase your bone density. Balance exercises are equally important. They can improve your stability and decrease your risk of falls and fractures. It, uh, tai Chi, for example, is a gentle exercise that can help improve balance and coordination. Always remember, it's not about how strenuous the activity is, but about consistency. Start with what you can do and gradually increase the intensity as your strength improves. A balanced diet is another pillar of bony health. A diet rich in calcium and vitamin D is essential for maintaining strong bones. Dairy products, leafy green vegetables, and fish are excellent sources of calcium. Vitamin D, often called the sunshine vitamin, can be found in fatty fish, cheese, and egg yolks. It's also produced by our bodies when we get sunlight. However, getting enough of these nutrients from diet alone can be challenging, especially for elderly women. So it's not uncommon to need supplements. Always consult with a healthcare provider before starting any supplement regimen. Lastly, certain lifestyle choices can also affect bone health. Limiting alcohol intake and avoiding tobacco can greatly reduce your risk of osteoporosis. 
Regular checkups are also vital as bone loss occurs silently and progressively. Early detection through bone density tests can make a world of difference in managing osteoporosis. Remember, every small step towards a healthier lifestyle contributes to stronger bones and a lower risk of fractures. Real stories from real people often inspire us the most. Our next segment focuses on personal experiences with osteoporosis. A hearing from those who have walked the path can provide invaluable insights. Let's delve into a conversation with Dr. Wilson, a leading healthcare provider in the field of osteoporosis. She emphasizes early diagnosis and treatment are crucial in managing osteoporosis. Regular checkups and bone density tests can make all the difference. Now meet Margaret. She's a lively 75 year old who was diagnosed with osteoporosis 10 years ago, but Margaret didn't let her diagnosis define her. Through a combination of diet changes, exercise and medication, she managed to significantly improve her bone density. I've learned to live with osteoporosis. She says cheerfully, and I've realized the strength of my spirit is stronger than my bones. I won't let osteoporosis stop me from enjoying life. Their stories are a testament to the resilience and strength that lie within each of us. We are not alone in this fight. There are resources and support available. In our journey towards better bone health, we are not alone. There are countless resources available from helplines to online forums, all dedicated to providing information, guidance, and support for those affected by osteoporosis. These resources serve as a beacon of hope, offering answers to questions and strategies for managing this condition. But beyond seeking help for ourselves, there's a larger role we can play. Spreading awareness about osteoporosis is crucial. By sharing this video or simply starting a conversation about bone health, we can educate and empower others. Each shared story or piece of information can make a significant difference in someone's life. Let's remember that health is never a solitary journey. It's a shared responsibility interconnected with the lives of those around us let's stand together supporting the elderly women in our lives remember your health is in your hands prioritize your bone health and support the elderly women in your life